Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Office 365 groups from different applications in your Office 365 portal. So in this training, I'll be showing you how to create a group from your Office Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So we're also going to also going to be creating a group from Azure Active Directory Admin Center. We'll be creating a group from our Outlook. We will also be creating a group for our Endpoint Manager Admin Center, which is also referred to as Microsoft Intune. I'll be using also the Microsoft Teams to create a group. We'll be using the Hub Planner to create a new group. And also, we'll, we'll also be using SharePoint to create a group. So first of all, let me go to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So if you log on to your Office 365 Admin Center, here you can see we have the option called Teams. And groups so if I click on teams and groups you can see we have the active teams and group at this moment I only have one general group which was actually created when I create this tenant this free trial tenant so here we have the option to actually add a group so by adding a group we have the option to choose what kind of group we want to create I'm going to create a Microsoft 365 which is recommended a distribution group a mail enable security group or a security group so let me just actually start with a create a group mail an email to collaborate you can also you can also add Microsoft Teams for group conversation files and calendar so let me just create a Microsoft 365 group and click next so here I'm going to actually call my group let me just call this IT help desk just let me just call this only all IT help desk members so let me just click next and here you can see it says assign an owner to this group so i can decide to assign an owner to this group so let me just say the owner of this group is going to be me which is kelvin johnson so i'm going to click next and here we can actually add some members to this group so we can decide to add some few members to this group so just click add and here we're going to click next so now we can actually decide what is going to be the is this going to be a private a private group or a public group here you can see it says public or we can actually make it private so which means that only those who have access to the group will be able to join this group so not everyone will be able to join the group here you can see we have the option to actually a group email address so we're going to actually just call this let me just call this it help desk so it's checking the email availability at this moment that, is, that email is not available so let's click next and here you can see you can review and then just click create group so the group is being created right now you can see it says adding group so by, by before this group has been added you can see now it's a new group created you can just close this and you can see we have our it help desk group so now let, let me go back to let me go to my azure active directory and if i click azure active directory here you can see we have groups so here you can also see the group I just created right now, which is called the IT Help Desk. So let me click on New Group. So here we have the option to actually create a security group or Microsoft 365 group. So let me create a security group. I'm going to call this group. Let me just call this Help Desk One. And here we can enter, enter a description of this on this group. It says Azure Adi roles can be assigned to this group. We can say yes, we want to assign Azure Adi roles to this group, or we can say no can decide to assign which means that we can only assign members to this group so let me just uh, click assign right i said the owner of this group is not selected so we can decide to just give so let me give john to become the owner of this group and select and this moment we don't have any members so we can decide to actually just scroll down let me just add for example i'm going to add tina to this group click selected and click create so the group is being created you can see we're gonna have the help desk one so if i go to my email from your outlook so here you can see i've already from office 365 from office.com office 365 you can just actually select and then search for your email let me just go back again here you can see we have our outlook and then it will take, up, take you to your outlook on a new page so here we can actually create a group so let me just try to expand this a little bit you can see we have the option called groups so here we can decide to create a new group here we can say new and i'm going to call this let me just call this help desk 2 and you can see that the help desk 2 and at the same time an email address is being created 
for us. You can see it's going to call, it's calling this help desk at freewayictless.be. So we can give a description for this. And also we have the option to actually make this a private or a public. So I can decide to just click on the edit option here and then it says, well, I want to make this a public. And also you see that we have the language option. Say members will receive all group conversation and events. So now let's just click, click create to create the new group we have created here you can see we can actually add members to this group so let me just try to add Raf, and also we can decide to add Roland as well to this group so let's just click add here you can see we have two members at this moment you can see we have the help desk too which have just been created also if I go, go again back again to my um, endpoint manager admin center which is also the Microsoft Intune here you can see we have the option called groups so in groups here you can see we have all the different groups that have just been created so which means I can actually see this group in my Azure Active Directory my Office 365 admin center so here you can see we have the option called new group so by clicking on new group, we can actually select if I'm going to create a security group or a Microsoft 365, Microsoft 365 group. So let me just create a security group and call this actually our help desk tree. And we can enter a description for this group. And also we can actually assign a um, member to this group. We can use actually dynamic users or we can actually also use add devices to this group so let me just assign and i'm going to give the owner of this group is going to be raf let me just select it and at this moment we don't have any members in this group so let's just click created you can see that the group is being created and this group has been created successfully so if i go to my teams here you can see let me just dismiss this here you on our teams if i go to my see if i go to teams you can see we have the option to actually create a group here you can see that the it hub this team group i created which of course gives you the option to actually collaborate with teams so if i decide to click create teams here you can see we can create from a group or teams so that is create your team from a group you've already created from an existing microsoft 365 group but i want to actually create from scratch so let me just create from scratch yeah, we're going to make it a private or a public so let me just make this a public and i'm going to call this the help desk for and so let people know what this team is all about so you can actually give a description of what this team is all about so let's just click create and it says nice work so which means our group has now been created so you see add members to the help desk for so we can decide to actually just tap let me just tap raf for example you can see we have the wrap raf and also if i type the name of tina we have tina and i can also add some other members to this group which is kelvin so let me just click add and here you can see inside of all three members that have been added to this group but other members other users can actually join this group because you can see it's actually a public group so let's just click close here you can see we now have a help desk for so if i go to the whole planner here you can see we have the option to actually create new plan on a new plan let me just give this help desk five and you can see we can actually make this a public or a private so i can just leave this on private and here we have the options and i actually have the option to actually add users to this group right now so you can give a description of this group and click create plan so you can see that the group is being created so here you can see that the group has been created but at this moment you can see we have the option here to actually add members to this group so here you can see the owner which was me that created this group i can decide to add a, let me just see if i can add like john wood to become a member of this group we can decide to actually remove but now i've just added john to this group so that's how you actually add members to this group and also we have SharePoint which is going to be my last so let me just close this so here to create actually a group a, 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 you're creating a site but it's actually linked to a group so we're, we're going to just click on the plus sign here which is which says create site and here we you can see it says create site we can create a team site so you can, um, share document have conversation with your team keep track then manage tasks and more with a site connected to a Microsoft 365 group so let's just select that and here we're going to actually call this let me just call this help desk zero one 
so it says well the name is available and here you can see all the different names say the site address is available so we can actually group alias is available and the site name is available so here we can decide to actually tell give a description of this group and also we have the option to actually make this public or private so let me just make this public and also the language but mind you it says select the default site language for your site you can't change this later so when you select a language you will not be able to change this language later so let's just click next here you see we can add additional email owners to this group so let me just add for example I want to add Tina Robinson and we can add some members let me just try to add some members John so I'm gonna add John Wood and then I'm gonna add um, let me just add see Kelvin to this group also let me just add Kelvin Johnson and then click finish so now we've already created a site so let me just close that right now and also we can go to the SharePoint admin center from here you can see we have an active site you can see all the different groups we've created is also visible in uh, SharePoint Admin Center. So from here, I can decide to create uh, also a group and then create a team site from here. So let me just close this and then go back again to my Admin Center and then let's just try to refresh and see what happens. So here you can see all the different groups I created. But mind you, you can see that if I go to a distribution list, I don't have any distribution list group I created. But if I go to the mail enabled, I don't have any. If I go to security, you can see I have about two security groups I created. So let me just go back again here. So you can see all the different groups we created, the mail, Microsoft 365 group, and also the security group. So if I go back to Azure Active Directory, and do a refresh, you can see all the different groups we just created from all the different um, applications. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to leave a comment in the description in the comment section of this video. So if you have any question concerning about uh, about Microsoft 365, Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Intune, SSCM, Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can always send me a personal email and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye.